everyone and welcome back to my channel this is Jen's Crafty Corner and I'm going to be doing another resin bead unboxing from Fiona's Charms. Alright, uh, I can't wait to get into this huge box. Alright, first up we have our freebies, uh, some fishing line that comes with every purchase and also a small tool kit. Um, in one of my previous videos I was organizing all of these so I'm going to have to put these in the organized bags. They're just keychain rings and jump rings and a needle. So first up, first resin bead up, I bought uh, 350 milliliters of glitter foil. And I just love them so much um, b before that I needed to buy more. So there's the more that I brought. Um, it's a big order, uh, so a lot of these we might see uh, repeats. So that's my first. My 150 liters of butterflies. So these matte butterflies. Uh, they are pendants. They have a hole at the top. And they're really beautiful. Uh, I wanted to use them for spring and it is spring now. Just about to turn summer. Uh, so just in time. Next up I have some matte bows. Now uh, we have seen these matte black bows before in a lot of other mixes. Um, but what I haven't seen are these pastel bows. So let's take a closer look at these. We have purple. We have a pretty mint. We have a pink. We have a yellow. We have an orange, pastel orange. We have a hot pink, kind of a fuchsia. We have a brown. And obviously we have that black. Are there any other colors that I missed? We also have a light blue. Oh, and there's one more. There is a kind of a tan colored, I'm not tan, this is, this is, I want to call it peach, but this is peach, so we'll, we'll call that like a m manila, like a manila folder, or vanilla ice cream, uh, very pretty, I like all the colors, all the pastel color, colors kind of go together, um, and they're beautiful. The hole is vertical drilled, so the hole is top to bottom. And I can't wait to use these. These are really cute. I bought some berry pendants, so these are berries. And let's take a closer look at these ones too. So there is a strawberry clear. There's a mini strawberry red. And this hole is on the side. So this is actually a bead, a strawberry bead, not a pendant. And there's a cherry pendant. Isn't that cute? This little cherry. The hole is up top, so this is a pendant. Uh, and it looks like there's different sizes of the cherries. Let's take a look. Back of my hand. Look at that baby cherry. And then there's the mom cherry. And both of them... Oh, both of them are pendants, but this one seems to be broken. Like the spacer is broken off. Well, that's not cool. Oh well, it's still really cute. Let's get this other one. This baby one didn't have the um, spacer broken off, so you can see it's supposed to have the spacer on top. 
really cute. So there's some cherries. Let's take a look at the red strawberry. So the red strawberry has a spacer on top, like the clear one. And I don't think I have any different ones. It's just a whole mix of these ones in the berries mix. Okay, here's the Galaxy Poir. Let's take a look. There are small beads that are falling out of here. <laughs> They're falling all over the place. All right, so right away, I know that I wanna take out all the small beads, so I'm gonna do that. So let's make room for our sorting. Uh, my sorting bin, so I'll take out all the small ones and I'll put them in their own. The reason why I do that is because I like to use uh, small beads as spacers and also put small beads like this one in bracelets. Um, so here we have a galaxy heart and the holes in the back. You can see the hole there. And it just looks so pretty. Um, the purple shade. This is an amazing color for that heart. I have a bunch of them. Pull the hearts out. And next we have a silver balloon dog. Uh, so it almost looks like a metallic pewter color. And I have some beads that are that color, so I might wanna I might wanna match it with those those beads that I have. Um, we'll just put this aside for now. A purple bubble heart with an Aurora coating. There's the hole on the side and it's pretty sizable heart. Very pretty bead. Now I don't know what these are called. I think I called them glitter beads before. Um, and they do have flecks of g glitter in them but the glitter is like really big. Um, so it's blue, and I'll call it a glitter bead, sure. There's the hole. Blue glitter bead. I do have a handful of those as well. Okay. Let's go on to the next. I have this, um beautiful rainbow aurora colored rose and the hole is oh there's two holes back there one two and i love these kind of flowers i've used them before they're really nice and this aurora coating this rainbow is just really cool almost looks like water glistening very nice. I have a uh, glitter, I'm gonna use that word again, a, a white glitter bead. It's not quite galaxy, uh, it's just got glitter in there. Sure, we can, I guess we can call it galaxy. So a white galaxy bead with an aurora coating. Uh, we have some metallic looking uh, bling beads. Very silver, very pretty. We have a blue peach, double layer peach with blue center. A few of those peaches. We have a square tablet and this is Galaxy. I can see the uh, glitter inside. Uh, it has a, an Aurora coating and there's the hole right there. 
Just kind of a square tablet there. Uh, now this is another heart uh, like before. This purple one, but it's like a gray color. Like a cloudy, stormy sky gray. And as I film this, my, my sky looks just like this. The, the sky looks just like this outside. Uh, there's the hole. I have a star, a chubby star. Uh, it's got an Aurora coating on it and it is galaxy. I can see the glitter. There's the hole. This is really cute. Okay, I have a uh, flower engraved bead. So uh, it has flower patterns engraved on the outside and it's a galaxy bead, uh, kind of a purplish blue galaxy bead with the Aurora coating. Uh, here's another heart and it has um, the hole drilled vertically. Uh, it's multifaceted, so a multi-cut. I think they call them crystal, this kind of heart. So here's a purple Aurora crystal heart. Really pretty. Here's a Aurora rose. It has the um, laser coating on it, and it's also galaxy. It's pretty. And a bunch of those. A handful of, um, I don't know what color this is. This is like a midnight blue or a navy blue. Um, but they also have the laser coating, so it looks rainbow as well. And um, these are disco beads, so like a dark navy disco bead. We have some metallic chubby hearts. We have a, um, I don't know if I should call this blue or purple. One way it looks purple, one way it looks like a cobalt blue. But it's galaxy and it has the laser coating on it. Really pretty. Here's a uh, side hole bead. You can see it's uh, the hole is kind of put on one side. Uh, it's got the Aurora coating on it and it is Galaxy. Wow. I just turn it and it's like a kaleidoscope of color. We've got pink, we've got orange, we've got yellow, we've got green, blue. That is amazing. It's really cool. Um, a black bead with a laser coating on it. A blue bow. Vertical drilled. Laser coating. Another rose. Okay, this is interesting. So this is one of those um, beads that look like a uh, marble or stone. But what they've done is they've put the laser coating on it. So it looks like the marble or some kind of stone. Um, and then you can turn it and you can see the laser coating. I have a handful of those stone beads that are laser coated. They're, these are really special. Here's a fig bead that is galaxy and it has the laser coating on it. 
There's the hole on the top. I can't say that I like fig beads too much. It's another fig bead, galaxy fig bead. Uh, here's a galaxy cloud. Uh, I've got the laser coating on it. Um, these are just like Aurora coated um, black beads. They just look like rainbows. They're just so cool. Here's instead of a black bead, that's a silver bead that's a uh, galaxy and has the Aurora coating. It's a kind of a different look from the black ones. Okay, and here's 150 milliliters of these pastel skulls. Uh, I bought some skulls before and they were much bigger. Uh, so I guess these are sp skull spacers. Um, but I guess I have a gold. Silver, orange, purple, blue, green, black. I don't see any other color. Uh, I mean, I, I like them. They're interesting. I'm sure any boy would like it as well. So if you wanted to make something for a boy, they'd probably like them. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching me unbox this. Um, if you like this, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.